any youth being killed is not right, and as a community, we need to come together. Nina Martinez walks the Everett Street where an innocent boy was gunned down just two weeks ago, another victim of gang violence. Children should not be killing children. And Police say 14-year-old David Sandoval was mistaken for a rival gang member when he was shot and killed by a 13-year-old who got the gun from a 12-year-old. It's outrageous. This young child that was killed was a youth promising leader. It's he did not deserve to die. There have been at least 56 gang related shootings in Snohomish County over the past two years alone. Among them, an innocent brother and sister who were just walking home from school. No one is untouched here. So we need to stop this that thinking that it's just a certain culture or community. No, that's not the reality. Martinez yeah, chairs the Latino Civic Alliance. Violence. She's now launching a youth violence task force to look at the gang issues statewide. Among its most pressing issues, the active recruitment of children in our parks and schools. The task force will enlist police, politicians, teachers, and health care workers from all over Washington to find solutions. Pass, pass, pass. It'll seek more consistent funding for programs like this Everett Police Soccer Camp to keep kids out of trouble. With so many innocent oh, no. lives being lost, Martinez, herself a mother of two, now, believes the stakes are too high to do nothing. I mean, it shouldn't be that kids cannot walk down the street without fearing that they're going to be killed. That's just not right. It's our problem to fix. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.